Hello beautiful people. This is Chrissy D. I got fat girl problems. I got so many problems. I don't even know where to begin. And hopefully y'all can relate to me. Is this rate weight loss journey thing? It is a doozy like whew, really a doozy. But here I am Think about all the problems that I have from me walking upstairs and get winded to me bending over and can't tie my shoes because my belly fat in the way. Like, it ain't right. I mean, really? Do we really have to go through this stuff? Really? But, you know, the struggle is real. You know what I mean? Other problems like sleeping and your boobs getting in the way and then you be all sweaty and hot. And then you see other people with your favorite food and you can't touch it because you're trying to lose weight. It's like everything you put in your mouth, for every ounce that you put in your mouth, you gain five pounds. What is up with that? Why do we have to go through that? I mean, really. And you see these women that are smaller than we are and they can eat all day long and not gain a pound. Like, what's up with that? But, I'm here. To tell you to keep going, don't get discouraged, because I'm right there with you. <sighs> My weaknesses, this is Mountain Dew and Musketeers. I love Three Musketeers and Mountain Dew. They're so good together. But I've been doing good though. I haven't drank a Mountain Dew, but I will get like a shot, you know, to just like to, to kill my craving, you know, so there has been a significant amount of change dealing with Mountain Dew. The whole musketeer thing, I don't eat them as much as I used to, but I will get one and I won't eat the whole thing. I'll eat half and I'll put the rest up for another day, but you know, it's it's a it's a work in progress for me. You know, I used to, you know, over the past couple of weeks I've been beating myself up, you know, thinking that, you know, I'm supposed to be 10 pounds down by now, you know, but I realized this is my first crack at it. I have one thyroid. I am losing weight. It's just not a drastic, drastic amount of weight. I lose anywhere from like two to three pounds a week. And depending on, you know, how active I am and what I eat, you know, I either gain it or, you know, things like gain it right back or things like that. But I just want you guys to know that I'm sticking to it and I'm committed. And I can really use y'all's help, but this fat girl got some issues, man. Some, some hardcore issues. Like, I be seeing all this fried food and stuff and, you know, my lip get to quivering and getting the slobbing at the mouth and stuff but whew, it ain't right but you know today you know preparing to cook my rice just cut off so it's done so I'm gonna go fry some fish you know I hadn't had fish in a very long time but um I would bake it but the type of fish that I'm cooking is whiting and I don't like whiting baked. It's it's just not it's just not kosher. Don't feel right in my mouth. It's just not it's not good. But um I'm gonna do that today. But but I use portion control. That's one of the things that has been helping me along the way. Also, I do a three day diet and the three day diet, you know, use portion portion control with me. I don't eat after six and I drink plenty of water. So I try to make sure dinner is done, you know, before six. And if I can't eat after six depending on what I've done that day dealing with my girls and my husband I will not eat after seven I don't care how hungry I am this and another but my goal is to have everything done and eaten by six o'clock and I use portion control these here my girls plates my honey's plates my plate see my plate my plate my plate. This is what I eat off of. This is what helps me with portion control. And it does a really good deal. Like, it does really great. So what I'll do is, is that I'll put um, a handful of rice in the meat that I'm going to eat. And it could be baked chicken, baked steaks, all of that, you know. I'll do it. And another thing, these things right here, I don't know. If you can see them, but they are they're weight loss shakes, and I usually drink these when I am starving or when I just want a quick snack. 
because I try to eat with my whole family. I don't like eating without them, so this takes the place of it, and it it really does help. It curbs your appetite, and it, you know it gives you energy and all that, and it gives you the nutrients that your body needs. So I stick to this. So and other than that, you know, I stay as active as I can. I have a three year old, so I can't really exercise like I want to unless she sleep, and she sleeps at weird hours during the day. But I just want y'all to know that. I'm still pushing and I ain't gave up yet so and I'm not going to give up but what I am what I will say is that I am starting to love my body with the thickness that it has you know I'm starting to love me and it's it's been a really hard thing to do is oh confessions of a fat girl I can't stand the way I look in the mirror but I'm, I'm getting there you know what I mean like I can't stand a thing of the way I look and I don't know I'll back up I'll let y'all see a little bit but this is me you know and all there is you know this is me kind of cold right now but later on I will you know show you guys you know the real deal but yeah that's me so but don't Y'all, I ain't done my hair. Give your heads up. Every time you see this on my head, I mean, Chrissy ain't done her hair. I'm real about mine. I ain't feel like doing my hair uh, today. I ain't feel like doing my hair yesterday. But I'm still beautiful. With me and my little fat face. Yeah. And my gap. I love my gap and my dimples. That makes me who I am. But anyways, back to my confessions. I can't stand my stomach area. I can't stand the fact that my thighs rub together. Uh, I can't stand my fat face. Like, it's horrible. It's really horrible. But, and on top of that, is, you know, how it makes you feel. You know what I mean? Because, I'm not gonna lie, like, the society, society has played a, a huge part in it, you know? Because we have magazines and TVs, internet, and all you see is these skinny, petite, beautiful women with long, flowing hair and banging bodies and narrow waist and, you know, toned legs and this and that and the other. You know, it plays with our head. And then, you know, nine times out of ten, what do the guys go for? The skinny, petite girls. You know what I mean? We're last on the list, but... Thank God I have a husband who loves a big woman. He's a chubby chaser. Always have been. And, but, he's the reason why I'm starting to love me. You know, he causes me sex every day. He means it. You know, he loves my body. Every nook and cranny, roll, dimple, whatever. Refer referring to fat, he loves it. You know, but... It's, it's him. He's the reason why I am starting this change. But it's not going to stop me from, you know, losing weight. Now, the main reason why I am losing weight is because of my health. I don't know if you watched my first video, but I suffer from pseudotumor cerebral syndrome. And it's where my body produces too much spinal fluid and it makes my body think they have a brain tumor. And with that, it causes really bad headaches. And my very first episode was a bad episode. And I'll lost my sight in my right eye and my eyes weren't crossed now my um vision didn't come back all the way but my eyes were corrected um i have night blindness i have no peripheral vision and i'm half blind in my right eye but you know i'm still able to do everyday activities like driving and all that stuff glory be to god but you know that's the main reason why i want to lose weight and it, you know it's i'm not trying to lose 100 pounds I'm not even trying to lose 70 pounds. I want to lose anywhere between 40 to 60 pounds. That's it. I'll still be in the 200s. But I have a... Well, no, I don't have that picture. But I have to find it. But I have a picture when I was 18, 19. I was in the 200s. And you couldn't tell it. You know, I guess because I'm tall and the way my body shape is. But I just want to get back to that. You know what I mean? But I'll show you guys later on. But, you know, I, I just want to be healthy. You know, I don't want any more headaches. I'm tired of headaches. I'm tired of being winded. You know, 
just tired you know I I want to feel comfortable in my own skin I want to be comfortable in my clothes you know I want to I just I want to look good and I hear people oh you're not big you're not big you know whatever don't lie to me you know I'm big I know I'm big you know it's whatever you don't have to sugarcoat things you know I know what I see when I look in the mirror you know what I mean but you know, people try to spare your feelings, and sometimes, you know, you just got to be real with people. And, you know, that's what I want. Just be real with me, you know. But oh, that's pretty much it. Fat girl issues. And confessing her confessions. But I'm just like the rest of y'all. Big girl with issues who's, who's trying to fix it. So, with that being said, you guys, you know, keep pushing. And know that I'm right here with you. And don't ever get up. Excuse me. Don't ever give up. You know, don't give up the fight. Keep pushing. You're still breathing, you know. So, it's just do you. And let's do this together. But just know you can and will get through this. Have a blessed day.